Hey yo, what is up Genshin fans? How are you guys doing? Version 2.8 has rolled out and I've been enjoying it on stream pretty, pretty, pretty well so far. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too. For this video, I'm going to talk about all the stuff that just happened before 2.8 because it was, it was, it was, it was freaking wild. And I, I haven't really, I wanted to talk about it, but I haven't really done it yet. So th this, it's going to be this video. Before the 2.8 live stream actually released, we had a lot of leaks, man. And I mean, I mean a shit ton of leaks. Like I woke up, I opened my, my Twitter and I just saw leak after leak after leak. Well, they're not, they're not leaks now because Oyoverse basically just said, oh, fuck it. We'll just show you guys everything that we're working on. So that, that, that kind of happened. So we had a lot of beta testers that were leaking out all the uh, Sumeru stuff. I'm not sure what kind of chasing Hoyoverse is going to do. They're going to probably release all the Zhonglis and the, the Yan face and and then chase these people. So we got a lot of gameplay leaks for all the new characters that was that's coming out. And Hoyoverse just basically said, oh, OK, since you guys know about them anyway, they were just here, here. We'll just give it all to you. So they gave out all the splash art for the new characters, such as uh, Tignari. And then uh, we got Kole and uh, we got a Dory. There were other characters that I'm not going to talk about because they're still actually technically in leak territory. Um, so but all those stuff, they just the leaks kept coming along uh, the official skin, the deluxe skin, which again, they're not leaks now as I'm talking about this video. Um, but they were leaks when they came out initially. And then Hoiverus even gave us a little surprise treat by unveiling the uh, the, the Akatsuki, the Fatui Akatsuki. So for a long time, we've had a brush in with a few Fatui Harbingers. Um, obviously, we have Child and he's, he's playable. And then we've also had Signora, which is one of the... Um, weekly bosses at the moment and we've also had Scaramouche which we just recently found out spoiler alert if you haven't done the story is actually one of Raiden's uh, failed experiment doubles body doubles or something like that Genshin Impact just finally unveiled uh, all the Fatui Harbingers in a storyline teaser video and uh, boy did it get everybody excited sure it sure got sure got me excited <laughs> so they pretty much released all the remaining Fatui uh, Harbinger members. Not sure if this is in response to all the leakers, um, but it does seem like they do play a little bit of a part on uh, the the Sumeru quests. There seems to be some relationship between Kole and uh, the Doctor, Dottore, um, as it is shown on the teaser trailer. Um, but yeah, we got introduced to the Captain, the Marionette, uh, the Rooster, um, which seems to be he seems to be a bit of a nice guy. Um, not sure yet. And then we got uh, the da the damsel or Colombina. Uh, she looks like she's going to be batshit crazy. Um, obviously, we got uh, child, which was also shown to us. Here we got we got the knave, Arlecchino, which is mm, 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 mommy. And then we also got a couple of daddies, Antalon, the regretter, regretter, and uh, the Tori, the doctor, which seems to be, like I said, will play a part on the Sumeru storyline as shown on the, the teaser. So obviously Twitter exploded and uh, all the fan art came in and uh, that's that's pretty much expected. I, I am I am excited and the entire community is excited, which is good because, you know, we all like this game and I'm pretty excited. We're kind of wondering who's going to be like the playable characters that are coming in, who's going to be the non-playable, who's going to be the bosses. And uh, it's, it's a pretty exciting time because we're getting so many character teasers. Um, hello, wallet. Please don't be empty. <laughs> please, Gens Genshin gods, please make me win all my 50-50s. Because, damn, there are a lot of stuff uh, that are coming in. And uh, also, there's a lot of storylines that are coming in, which is obviously free to play and for, for everyone to enjoy, which is uh, something that's... that free-to-play players can look forward to i am currently doing the 2.8 event i just finished the kazuha storyline and i'm currently doing the archipelago and i am pretty satisfied so far i'm actually not yet finished and there's still a lot of locked stuff um so we will get back to doing all of those um so yeah that's gonna be the video for today let me know what you think about all the new stuff 
how Hoyoverse is gonna tackle all these leaking issues. Should they just release everything? And, you know, give us maybe a timeline uh, as to when these characters are coming in or what are the expected um, future updates. I don't know. I, I, I want to know your guys' opinion regarding the matter and uh, which one is your favorite Fatui Harbinger. Me personally, I am interested in uh, Sandron or Sandroni, the marionette, because she, she's got she's got a, a giant ruin ruin thing. Kind of reminds me of Bob from Overwatch, but... It'd be interesting if we're going to have a character that you have like a, a burst or an ability that you can control. Because so far, you really can't control, you know, you can't control Goba or, or Fischl's Oz or things that are usually summoned, Kokumi's Jellyfish. But it would be nice uh, and interesting if we get a character that can put something on the field that you can actually move around like constantly. And, you know, like maybe it'll have its own AI. Maybe you'll have to control it by yourself. But uh, that would be interesting gameplay. Uh, Hazo, so far, I'm very satisfied and he is kind of cool. Um, I'll be making a video about him very soon and uh, hope you guys uh, watch that one. All right, so that's going to be it for today. I just needed to, to talk about that and, and, and want to share my thoughts regarding all the new stuff that's coming for Genshin, which I am very excited for. And I uh, hope you guys are excited about it too. All right, if you like this video and uh, you'd like to see more of this type of format, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You know the deal. I live stream on Facebook Gaming. Yes, Facebook, because I'm a fucking boomer. If you don't want to watch on Facebook, you just subscribe to my YouTube and uh, all is well. Right? Always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.